All right, good afternoon boys welcome back to our rugby session i uh, hope you guys are enjoying our training drills that we are sending to you right in our last uh, session we looked at a couple of things on ball familiarization we also looked at a video we watched a video from mr Travilla, which we are looking at how you hold that uh, rugby ball the basics of ball handling you also managed to look at the basics of pass the spin pass as well as the, the push pass and I hope you guys uh, managed to enjoy that. You also mentioned on how you hold that ball parallel to your body to execute um, uh, the pass. Today, you're going to watch again another four minutes video from Mr. Trevella, where he's now explaining the basics of passing and receiving. So the basic of passing and receiving is what he's going to, uh, to, to explain to you. Sit back and watch that video. Hi everyone, okay, third video um, of our basics on how to, to, to catch and pass a rugby ball. Uh, video one, we covered the basics of how to hold the ball uh, from a push pass and a spin pass, so we all now know how to hold the ball. Video two was nice and simple, just really that movement across the body with nice bent elbows and the basics of how we can coach that, bring the ball to the outside hip. Um, and then obviously hands towards the target and follow through. That was video two. Nice and straight if you remember. Straight towards the target. We don't want any of this when they're trying to spin pass. Um, it's probably why we don't like teaching youngsters to spin pass because you develop bad habits. But we can get the right habits in um, as I demonstrated in video two. Um, video three, all we're going to go, this is a simple one. Actually how to receive the ball. Again, a lot of us will just assume you just put your hands out and catch the ball. Um, it is true, but it's where we put our hands and the reasons why we put our hands there. Okay, so most of us would have been told pass in front of people. We don't really want to be doing that uh, too often. There's a time to pass in front. Most of our passes should be towards the body nice and firm. So receiving the pass, we basically just want our hands towards the ball. Okay, so uh, those of you who know rugby, if you, you know, you're playing in one direction, um, if, if I'm playing this direction, I would get my hands up here normally. If I'm receiving a pass from, from there, what would happen now is I would basically just turn my hands slightly there. Okay, and the reason why we do that, some of the really good uh, fundamentals for the game is once I bring my, my hands towards the ball, I actually square my hips up to keep me running straight to fix defenders. If my hands go in front, it's very easy to drift away from the pass, which you'll see a lot of players do especially at a young age. So get your hands towards the ball, it just sort of forces your whole body to square up. What it also does, I don't know if you can see it there, it brings your outside leg forward when you catch the ball, which is quite nice. Um, if you catch a ball here and collision comes, your outside leg's forward, you're nice and strong, you can catch a ball, pull it in and you can actually take contact. So if I'm receiving the ball from the side here, my hands are towards it, I can catch it. If the pass is a bit labored or I can't actually get a pass away, I'm in a nice strong position to brace for collision. Okay, so I, I like that. I think it's a really, um, it's, it's, a, it's an underestimated area of putting your hands towards the ball that really helps from a coaching perspective. The other thing also, why we put our hands towards the ball, you actually get your hand, your, your, the ball in your hands a split second sooner um, then if you're putting your ball, the, the, the ball, your hands out in front to receive the ball. So you do get the ball into your hands nice and quickly and efficiently. What it also does from a coaching point, once you receive the ball there, remember in video two I said to teach the fundamentals of bending the arms and across the body start from the hip. Okay, I call it the loaded position. Um, if you receive the ball there, you can then, like I say in a, in, a, in a drill, you can take it from receiving it from there, bring it to the hip and make a pass. So what you're doing there is you're really getting the ball in one movement, you can get it across your body. Most youngsters, if they catch it in front, they'll catch it. They then load, which means they're already going forward into collision, putting themselves under pressure and the receiver under pressure. Most of the time, don't let the pass go. So I've given you quite a lengthy explanation of all the positives of something really, really simple that we don't coach too often and we overlook hands towards the ball. It's not just get them towards the ball, understand why we put them towards the ball all the time. It also gives a really good target for the person passing. One of the things I haven't mentioned, which is quite quite crucial to this as well, when your hands are towards the ball, especially as youngsters, um, passers can go in front, they can go behind. If your hands are sort of mid in the middle ground, it's a lot easier to recover. If your hands are here and the pass comes right behind, most of the time they won't even get to it. 
So from the middle, it's a lot easier to recover and reach any direction to catch a pass that's not 100% perfect. And we all know you can't make 100% perfect passes all the time. So just to recap, hands towards the ball. Uh, lots of good reasons why. Catch the ball, bring it to your hip straight across in one movement. You can get a good pass away. If you take collision, leading leg normally will go forward. It becomes natural. You can take collision then. Right, hopefully you enjoyed the video that uh, Mr. Trivella showed to you. So make sure that every time that you watch those videos, go now and practice. You can practice against the wall. And if you've got someone who you can practice with, just make sure you get help. But uh, always keep practicing so that when you come back, you are at an advanced stage. Right, uh, remember the last uh, session, the session before last, we spoke about uh, kickoffs, receiving and uh, as well as, uh, as kicking off. Then we also st uh, spoke about uh, uh, a rack situation and how we operate on the, on the racks. Today we're going back to kickoffs, right? Uh, we at St. John's, we are always used to, to be not good at uh, receiving the ball at kickoff. But I know with all the drills that we are doing, we'll be able to catch all those high balls and be able to play them, right? At kickoffs, our rule at St. John's is that as soon as the, we are receiving that ball, Right. If the ball goes to the three quarters, if you are a three quarter, you should be kicking that ball straight into touch. That is, if you are in our 22, right. But if you are a three quarter and you catch that ball outside our 22, make sure that you kick it on field and it bounces out. We always call that corridor. It is. You may make sure that you align yourself into the 15 meter line and you kick along the 15 meter line so that it bounces in and goes out. So that is our strategy. And if the ball comes at kickoff and goes to our forwards, the forwards are going to run and take a hit. So are we together there? So if it gets to our forwards, the Mombels or the Lucis, make sure that you grab that ball, run into contact, set it up, and, and uh, the three quarters will be able to take that ball and make sure that we exit well from our own uh, 22. All right. So the first drill that we're going to be doing today, we're just practicing kicking and catching. Right, so we're gonna kick the ball up and you're gonna catch it. So uh, try as high as you can to try, even if at times you drop the ball. I know, especially the forwards, you struggle because you don't, uh, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't kick a lot. Okay, so make sure that uh, you keep practicing. Okay, so look at how he's holding the ball, holding the ball in two hands, right, and the, the pointy part, the other pointy part is towards the leg, and check his uh, for, for the leg movement. Okay. Right, so let's uh, do a couple of practice uh, kicks. Right. 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 So every time I is on the ball, all right, and check the way that he is uh, getting under that ball, all right. Let's do another kick. Ball up. Right. right. So every time sideways, every time remember it's sideways catching that ball, right? Okay. Right. Right. Even if you drop it, guys, eh, it's fine. But look at the technique of uh, catching that high ball. The technique is always under that ball, sideways. He's catching the ball sideways. So the moment you 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 you, you catch the ball sideways, even if it knocks, it goes. Eh, it doesn't go forward. It either knocks on and goes the other way, or it it knocks on and goes. It also gives you a lot of composure, a lot of stature holding that ball because the tackler will be coming to attack you. So make sure that as you catch, you put nice firm ground and you can turn and uh, start making a mall. Okay. So on that drill, you can do as many kicks as you want, at least about 15 to 20, practicing and practicing, kicking and catching, kicking and catching, and make sure the eye is always on the ball. So make sure you are comfortable with catching the high ball. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the kicking and catching drill. It, was, uh, it must have been fun for you guys uh, to be doing that. So what you need to do is every now and again, keep on practicing, kicking that ball up and, uh, and catching. It's, uh, it works well for us when you know, we are in the game situation to be comfortable catching high balls because most of uh, the boys are not very, very uh, uh, confident in trying to catch a high ball. All right, so the next drill that you're going to be doing is uh, make sure you set um, four stations, four cones. If you have got cones, if you don't have cones like we always do, make something that resembles a cone and put uh, two meters across. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a, a shuttle. It's a shuttle run, but scooping that ball into your hand. So what you're focusing is the side, um, as, uh, the side way picking of that ball. So you're using your eye or your right hand to scoop the ball into your left hand, and you run holding the ball in two hands, and you place on the next cone. You go round back, 
back again at pace now as you are advancing and uh, approaching that ball. Make sure you advance for that ball at pace and with low body position. While this, a low body position is very, very crucial in rugby because it gives you stature, it gives you balance. Okay, so we're going to watch uh, uh, Tadi doing the, the scoop uh, as well as uh, the shot off. Okay, let's go. So we check sideways, scooping. Placing the ball in two hands. The focus is placing the ball into two hands. So he's scooping into the other hand and placing right back. Again, scooping and back. But then uh, all the way back. Then he's going to do the same drill coming from that side each and every court. Right? So he's scooping back and he goes back to that first court. Right? Touch, scoop. So look at the focus. Every time he's scooping that ball. It focuses on the ball every time. Focus on the ball and 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 place. All right, then all the way back and all the way to the ball. Right, and I'm giving a challenge. You guys are very fit, and I know your fitness level is getting very, very, very high. So you should be able to do ten of those. Okay, you should be able to repeat ten times so that you keep your heart heart pumping. All right, so let's go and do that drill. Right, gentlemen, we are moving on with our session today. Okay, so it's a matter of running a lot with that ball, enjoying the run with the ball. So the next few drill that we are doing is a shuffling, shuffling drill, if you can put uh, it that way, sideways shuffle, and with also with a handoff. Okay, you're trying to dodge all those opponents who are trying to to tackle you and the like, and you're also trying to hand them off. So want a nice handoff, and also make sure that that ball is nicely tucked. In your hands, in two hands. So as you go on the side now, you can tuck it and put it away from um, from the opponent. If anyone wants to take the ball, the tackler, then you can also hand it off and firm grip of uh, of that ball. So you still need your four or five coins that you're doing, and uh, even if it's just a half a meter apart, and uh, you'll be running in and out and also handing off. Okay, let's uh, follow the drill. Right. Sideways, nice, a nice handoff. Nice hand off, 10, right? Right, the attacks, check the body position, low body position, low body position, low body position. And look at the focus, look at his focus, look at the face. Right, at times when you're playing rugby, you need to make sure that you are focused on what you're doing. Okay, right, last time. Okay, nice sideways, nice sideways, nice sideways. All right, and all the way back. Okay. So you're going to be doing this drill. For, for 10 times, right? Going up and down 10 times, okay? Then you can also attack from the other end and going all the way there. So make sure that every progression that you are doing, you're doing at pace and you're doing with vigor, you're doing with skill. I want you to break the sweat, eh? Make sure that you sweat a lot, okay? So let's uh, focus now and uh, move on to the next drill. Right, gentlemen, we are moving on to our last, last drill of the day, right? This we did it in the previous sessions uh, called the Bulldog, okay? So remember the Bulldog, the main reason we are doing the Bulldog is we are trying to focus on your line of defense, okay? On your posture of defense, okay? You, because you are watching the opponents, you are watching the ball coming to you, right? So you want to go there and attack, okay? So we are going to demonstrate again the Bulldog, but today is only a variation with a roll now. Okay, as you are going to the right, then you roll to the right, okay? Then you get up, you go to the left, uh, then you roll to the left, okay? But the attack one will still remain the same, okay? Okay, so let's uh, see our demonstration. Tadi is going to, to roll to the left, right? Eyes on the ball, he's going to the right, to the left, sorry. Then he roll, okay? Bob, then, then check the focus, check the focus, focus. Then to the, the roll, okay? Take again to the center, take again to the center. Now attack with power. Stuff. All right, so we're going to have another repetition of that. We're going to have another repetition. Of I want you to focus now when he's going up the explosive force that he's doing. The toe that the guys coming there, they are basically running into your, into a wall. You are basically looking like a wall. All right, let's have it again. All right to the left. One, two, three, four, five, and roll. All right back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, roll, right back to the center again, get together, then hold, I want him to hold, I want you to hold. Check out the focus on his eye, his eyes are on his target. Now, explode. Go stuff, go stuff, go stuff, go stuff. So you look at that explosion now towards the opponent and his body position is targeted on the guy who wants to go and tackle and stop. Right? 
that was a brilliant brilliant demonstration of our bulldog all right like i said in the previous video i want you uh, to post uh,